Hello, I'm Mark Seeley. I'm plant manager of Vance Belton in Bayswater, Australia. We're making a conveyor belt for the mining industry. Uh, a lot of what will be produced from here will end up in Newman, northern Western Australia and Port Hedland, which is sort of middle of the north, northern element of Western Australia. So it's pretty much the other corner of Australia the product's going to be shipped to. We've been given an amazing opportunity to invest a $32 million new curing line. Uh, it complements perfectly the two curing lines we have. So our new 2.5 metre curing line will pretty much uh, give us a 40% improvement or increase in our existing capability. We've made a, a building extension at both ends of the factory to accommodate the very long new line. Uh, our hot former, which is the initial stage of the curing line, that's in and running and we're producing covers now. At the hot former, we have two 10-inch extruders that are from Nakata in Japan and they're feeding into the two large cylinder bowls that you saw, which are what we call the calendar bowls. So that scope of equipment is from Nakata in Japan. The other side of the two calendar bowls is uh, the downstream equipment made by a local company, SEI, and fabricated in Indonesia. The purpose of the downstream equipment is to basically take the sheeted compound and shape it to size, cut it to its right width. It's gauging the, the dimensions and the thickness of the compound to make sure that's fine and adjust the calendar bowls to ensure that we have the right gauge. As the product moves down the line, we have an opportunity to add other, other compounds to it, whether it be uh, breaker fabric, whether it be insulation, whether it be noodles from the side, um, so the airline has a lot of capabilities. The cooling conveyor obviously takes the heat out of the compound um, from the 80 odd degrees, it'll take it down towards the 40 degrees and then it's wound up, there's two winders to wind the product up so in theory we can run one winder until we get maximum dimension, we can cut the compound on the run and feed the compound onto the second winder, free up the first and keep process running continuously. The simple cam press behind me is physically all together. The components are all bolted and welded together. We're at the stage of the electrical wiring so you can probably see some cabinets open and uh, the hydraulic and steam piping to the machinery to open and close the large press jaws. Uh, we've been very, very fortunate here to be given the opportunity to install this new line here at Bayswater. It's a great complement to our, our existing capability. The local market is very strong and we haven't been able to fulfil the range of products necessary onto the Australian market. Also, we haven't had the capability to uh, meet the needs of uh, the big players in the Australian market, being BHP and FMG.